Hi, I'm Brent. Today we've got a video update on just the important points of what you need to know when you're fitting a supercharger kit driven with multi-V belts. And today we're talking about the Sprintex supercharger kit, which we have fitted a lot of, and they're a very popular kit all around the world. Developed in here in Australia from Tom from Bullet Cars Australia, manufactured by Australian company called Sprintex. It runs a blower on the top of the engine, um, which is then connected to a multi-V belt as part of the front of the original Subaru BRZ or Toyota 86 engine. And what I'm going to show today is um, the importance of when you sit this assembly on the top of the engine, there is a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of movement available just to get that blower lined up both forward and aft and also aligning it slightly left and right. There's not a lot of movement, but there's some things that you need to be aware of. So if you're fitting a kit like this or some other kit similar, you'll find this information very helpful. So. We've fitted the kit effectively and it's sitting in place, but what I want to show you first is you can get, the first thing you need to do is make sure that the, all the belts are lined up forward and aft because you don't want the, the drive belt too far forward or too far back because the belt will fit and run, but eventually it'll wear the belt out and throw a belt off. So what we've done here, as you can see, we have a, a Gates a Deco alignment tool kit, which um, is a laser which slots into the multi-V fitting of the belt, draw, uh, the pulley, and then on the side here we've got a, a guide tool which has got a, a vertical line in it as well, which you put in the similar position on the same uh, slot on the drive pulley, and you can see how this is lined up down the center line of the guide, which then matches the pulley that we're checking at the same time. And you would assume if the uh, power steering, I mean the air conditioning pump is lining up here, you would hope all the other belts do as well because obviously that's the original production part of the car. Now the next thing you would want to do is get a really good straight edge, put that on the front of the pulley, assuming that the offset to the front of the pulley is the same as the first V in here. So you would, me you would measure that part there to make sure that the bottom of that V there is the same offset to the front and matches the same one on the original factory Subaru Toyota alternator. Put that on the front there and just make sure that it's pretty close and then do the same thing in return and, and use that as a straight edge and you can see how close that is. And then what you would assume all the rest are lined up. We can then put the same guide tool right down the bottom here on the water pump and then if I want to, I can then check that on the side of this one down here as well to make sure that one is spot on as well. So the other thing that you need to be aware of um, with these particular the Sprintex supercharger kits, and I get my cameraman really close, there's a few production variations between Sprintex and the Subaru block. Right down in here is where the inlet manifold gets very, very close to the back of the alternator. Sometimes you've got to make some small modifications to that bracket at the back where the blower is very, very close to the Subaru alternator, just so you can move this assembly forward and aft to give you the correct alignment of this kit. So there you have it, a few tips and traps of what you need to know about fitting a supercharger kit to your car. Obviously this information can be used across all cars because ultimately at the end of the day you want to have fun and make sure your car is reliable. For more information of course you can follow us on facebook youtube twitter and instagram i'll post some static pictures of this on the link at the bottom of this video channel and we look forward to your feedback for today i'm brett middleton no matter where you are in the world thanks for watching